What's up, Ram fam? Welcome back to episode two of the food cast series that we have now. So before we dive into this 10 kilo challenge of onions, it's I don't know why we're going to do it. Guys, <laughs> we really need your support. We have a massive goal of 500 by the time it is my birthday, which is September, guys. So I need everyone that yeah. watches this video right now, stop what you're doing, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, share. Share it, yeah. Share it, share share it with your friends. Around. Share around. Share my channel around with your friends, guys. It's a little arrow button. I'll put one up there. Um, so share the video around. And just like that, guys, we're going to get tucked into the 10 kilos of onion challenge. I can't say I'm too excited about this one. <laughs> Neither, but let's do it. <laughs> All right guys, we had to do a little bit of a trick. We're not actually going to be eating 10 kilos of onions. What we're going to be doing is ah. <laughs> cutting 10 kilos of onions. And the reason we're doing that guys is we have Feast of the Census this weekend in case you didn't already know. Yay. This Sunday, come on down to the Innisfar Feast of the Census. And also if you're hanging around town on Saturday and you want a hot dog two days in a row, come to Saturday, Innisfar Market. And yeah, we're going to get into food cast episode two while we cut some onions up. You're going to be the first to cry, not me. Yeah. I'm used to this. Probably. <laughs> What's up guys, at some point throughout this video, there'll be a secret hidden word that will come up. And if you guys drop it in the comment section down below, you'll be in the running to win a mystery pies that will draw in one month's time. Okay, so drop the secret word down below that you see throughout this video, guys. It will only announce it once, all right? Drop it in the comment section down below and you'll go on the running to win the mystery prize. Let's go. So, in case you can't read what our shirt says, guys, it says designer dogs. And we also have name tags. Dan is the head chef and I am the head assistant. And yeah, we'll get into standard food cast. We've also got a bin on the floor. We're not just throwing it. On the floor. <laughs> we'll clean that up later. You need to add a door there. No, so this is what I was going to ask you. Cut it in half. Ooh, it's already getting to me. Yeah, I just cut it in half and then go about... About yeah, that thick. Oh yeah? Yep. So you usually get like four or five slices in the onion. Like cuts in. If they're thicker, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, that is a sharp knife. If, yeah, see any bad bits, obviously. Shotgun down. I don't know about you, but that's actually getting to my eyes already. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty good with onions. Um, I like to eat normally. I usually offer to Dan if he wants me to do this. Oh. <laughs> but. He never usually lets me. He um, usually takes on all the cooking responsibilities when it comes to the designer dog business, which I'm not complaining because I'm not the best cook as we, we, we know in this household. And yeah, he does everything else like get the cart in the trailer and load it and all that. So I'd rather sit there and cook and do all that sometimes, to be honest. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> oh. Bye bye. See, the trick is to not get attached to the onion. Yeah, I can't They're help just it. onions, they're not your friends. See, every cut it's like... No, no, no! Don't cut the dinosaur! The dinosaur. Don't cut, cut the, the onion. onion. Oh, now I'm getting attached. Yeah. It, once you get attached, that's it. Spicy. Oh, that's a spicy onion. Actually, it's it's different sitting down. I haven't never ever sat down to cut onions before like this, and it's different. It's hitting you. Hit yeah, you I don't know if my face is like closer or like just working with your arms up instead of down a bit. I usually like to peel a few yeah. and then slice them. So, um. Oh, peel a few, then slot. Yeah, like peel, it, peel, yeah, peel a couple, cut a couple, if it makes it easier, like get a little pile of peeled and... You don't have to do little pile of peeled and cut and pickled peppers on the side. Wow. <laughs> and then slice. Does she sell seashells by the seashore? She sells seashells. 
how much wood does woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I'm so bad at tongue twisters, hey. I practiced them. <laughs> practiced and practiced when I was younger. Damn, son! <laughs> These onions in the eyes, eh? Alright. So I'm gonna get on the peel train and then the cut train. The cut train. As Dan reckons. Yeah, it just gives you like a little bit of a prep, like. Yeah. Flow. Yeah. I'm gonna start crying on camera. I didn't think I'd cry on camera this early into my YouTube career. <laughs> True. <laughs> But that's it, we're building a family here guys on this YouTube channel hopefully. You know, it's a goal and we're trying to build a tight knit community, a family, and the aim of the YouTube channel as well guys is just to bring everyone together and just, I want everyone to smile at the end of one of our videos. So if we bring a smile to your face, drop down, hit that like button for us, let us know that you do like our content. Because um, sometimes, we don't get too many views in that and it gets a bit hard for us to judge whether these guys are still liking what we're <laughs> posting. So, communication is key, guys. Oh, communication is key to, um, to growing this channel and growing the family that we want to grow. It was touching, wasn't it? Was it was very touching. Very touching. <laughs> oh, I can feel myself start to tear up at the end of that speech as well. Um, by the way, guys. It was totally because of the speech, guys. <laughs> Um, one thing, any that I feel that have a little bit of rot, I'm throwing over to your side, just yeah. because I'm not sure if you want to solve the park or... Well, I grabbed an extra bag, I think, just in case there were rotten ones, because there's always a rotten onion in a bag of onions. In a bag, yeah. Like, it's inev in in inevitable. It's inevitable. 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 <laughs> Alright, um, what have we got on the topic section for today? Oh, good time to be in cryptocurrency. I haven't actually told my brother this yet, but um, my dodge... My <laughs> he waits until the boost and then tells me later. <laughs> <laughs> my dodge went up 28% today. Oh, um, dude. I cashed out $150. Nice. And nice. I still have $100 sitting there. Well, $50 profit yeah. plus my initial investment. Um, still sitting there to play with and that, so I actually bought $50 worth of Bitcoin in the dip today. Sweet. So I have some more Bitcoin. Exciting. So it's a very good time to our older viewers, guys. If you have a bit of spare time, research cryptocurrency. Um, it is booming at the moment, guys. You even get on... Oh, what's that app? The Storm Gains. That you can actually mine some crypto on your phone at the moment. Yeah, if anyone's it's curious about that, let us know. We'll send you a referral code to the app. Yes. Um, and it starts you off with seven USD. I think it's five. Or five. Um, it boosted up. me, bro. When Daniel done it to me, I, I cashed out within a week. Yeah, like, you cashed out hard. <laughs> 10 USD in, yeah. um, 10 USDT in a week, which was really, really cool. For all our young viewers, um, sorry. But crypto talk is just hot at the moment. Um, you guys probably won't know what we're talking about. <laughs> but again, if you just have spare time, get in it while you're young because it's your future. Yeah, exactly. it really is the way of the future. Um, be that whether we want it to be or not. That cashless system that everyone's talking about. Yeah. I just want to apologise again for the sniffles, guys. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> it's these onions. It happens every time. Yeah. Tough man, I can't even read my notes. All I saw was dodge, because I wrote dodge to the moon. <laughs> dodge ball. <laughs> um, yeah. It's also an amazing time if any young, young, young and up and coming artists are watching this video right now. Get yourself into the digital NFT space. Yes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, I was reading the news, I think it was yesterday, and a single pixel NFT. I think I saw that. Sold at auction for $1.7 million. <laughs> that's ridiculous. A bloody single pixel. <laughs> so if anyone that doesn't know, that's just, you're looking at a white, just like a white haze sort of screen, and then just like one black square right in the middle of it. Yeah, so like, if you play Minecraft, yeah, you know how he's made up of all the boxes. Take one of those little boxes as a pixel. 
and put that on it just a white background. That's right. <laughs> I don't get that whole NFT market and, uh, still. Like, I gotta do more research. I've gotta do some more. I've got an NFT creator on my phone, but you gotta pay to like, put them out on the market. Yeah. And if you publish on this shit that no one's gonna buy, you just wasting all your money. Yeah. So it's something that we definitely have to relate to the thing, but we definitely need to research a bit more into. Um, Alright, off that topic pretty quick, and we'll go on to the next topic. Space Jam's coming out. I still haven't seen the trailer. You haven't seen the trailer? No. Oh, I haven't. I have to watch it tonight. Right. It is epic. I keep saying I'm going. Go on. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm distracted. It's way too easy. It's... It's different to the original Space Jam, so to anyone who hasn't seen the original Space Jam, I recommend you still watch that. Um, probably watch it first yeah. before you watch the second one, um, just for the fact of you, you kind of have to understand the whole Looney Tunes and all that kind of stuff, which I don't think these kids really watch as cartoons anymore. No, I have not seen Looney Tunes for ages, to yeah, be honest, for is, a long time. Which is really sad because it was good. <laughs> that was classic cartoon. That was so good. Do you need goggles? Uh, no. <laughs> it's how you put a spoon. I just need to stop getting emotional. I'm not putting a spoon on my hand. It's too late for that. I just need to stop getting attached, you know? I want to prank Dad. You want to prank Dad? Wait till he goes in the shower. He's gonna watch it in the video, so you're gonna have to do it quick. We're recording. <laughs> Dad watches all the videos. I need to just get up and change the camera anyway because the battery's flashing at me. So I'll push this in. And we'll just have a quick break, guys. We'll get. The camera changed, and we'll be right back to you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. We had to switch to my iPhone because it turns out all my batteries are dead. So we're going to get back straight into the vlog cast, the food cast. I don't know what, what I'm talking, talking about. about. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into back into it because we've got a lot to do, and we didn't realize it was so late. So yeah. Never cut onions in air conditioning. Oh yeah, that's what we were meant to say. Never, Never cut onions cut. in air conditioning, guys, because it's not the funnest. Um, but um, we're gonna prank Dad. So mum's challenge. Ooh. Ooh, we I nearly had it for real though. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I am um, on a sad note. I, I put a hole. Oh shit. <gasps> I probably dented the table. It even cut through that. Wow. It's how sharp the knife is. Through the chopping board. Through the chopping board and through the <laughs> that nice legit. That's a sharp knife. 
Anyway, guys, back to the vlogcast. Space Jam. Back to the food. Is that what we were talking about? We were talking about? about Space Jam and how cool um, the, the trailer is and how you have to watch Space Jam 1, I reckon, first. Yeah, first. Definitely. I love the OG Space Jam. Yeah. Like, I can only imagine the new one will be just as good. Yeah. If there's any little bits like that that you don't want to chuck in, yep. don't chuck in. Um, but who, it's not Michael Jordan though, is it? In this no, movie? it's LeBron it's James. LeBron. And his, I don't want to ruin it, but I'll just say what I saw, saw in the trailer. Yeah. Um, his son gets taken by like a space evil lord sort of thing. Yeah. So he's got to go back and burst them and bask with the monsters again. That's yeah, but so it's, like cool. a, it's like a new and improved monsters. I'm, I'm, yeah. I can't re remember exactly sort of what they were called. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, that's with the monsters, which is really cool. Ooh. Um, yeah. And another really cool thing is, well, really cool, but really scary. I don't know how I feel exactly about it, is Neuralink. Um, yeah, that's, is that the brain chips? The brain things. They're getting, they're getting really, 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 um, really good with it. You think because it? they had a monkey playing Pong. <laughs> really? With just its mind. So they had a screen in front of the like, monkey. Oh, wow. With wow. Pong going, and they had a tube that it was blowing on, which was the Neuralink. Well, yep. they had the plant implanted in its brain, but yep. the tube sort of helped it with something. I think yep. it just must have been one of their learning the processes. The computer AI was obviously controlling the monkey. No, no. No? No, the monkey was controlling the, uh, the computer. So basically, yep. he had a joystick in one hand, and like his mouth on his other stick, so they must have taught him two ways to play the game. Yeah, yeah. Like physical, two yeah. physical ways to actually play the game. And then with the chip in his mind, those two controllers were physically unplugged. Like they showed you they were unplugged. Yeah. Wow. And, and he's still playing the game. So he's just doing it with his mind, essentially. Well, that's scary. Not essentially, he is doing it with his mind. Um, which that's sci-fi. Is, that's cool. <laughs> it's cool, but it's scary, but it's so man. Scary. Like, that brings, like, the whole AI thing, artificial intelligence, to a whole new level. Yeah, that's that's a big defining step in it, really. It's a massive step. That's so huge. much it might even make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Not much has really happened this week. It's been a... It's been a very busy it's been week. A busy week. Yeah, it's been a very, very busy, busy week. There's a new Nissan 2022 oh, that looks GTR, so nice. um, which I'll get up for you guys. It is the so 2022 nice. Nissan GTR Nismo R35. It will be out in late 2021. Ooh. So it just got released, modeled in Japan. Maybe like September, October, I reckon. Yeah, no price yet um, that I could find. It was a 3.8 liter twin turbo V6. 441 kilowatts to all four wheels through a six-speed dual clutch auto transmission mounted on the rear axle. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I've always loved the Skylines, like. I just yeah. like the yeah, oh, missions nice. and the GTRs. GTRs. I wonder if Tanda Fox will buy this one. New Godzilla, hey? New Godzilla. That'd be a goer. It already looks decked out, man. Like the uh, side skirts and that body kit, oh. like on the boot, how they've got those defining lines on the edge. That looks really, really sick. And it just has a color about it, hey. Like, yeah, it's like almost looks blue, but looks gray. Like, yeah, it's hard to. These guys know what I'm talking about. It's how we'll have photos all over the screen. Some it looks green. Yes, Misty. What's up? Because I've locked it down there, locked it away. <laughs> oh, man. Constantly. Oh. No. I feel like we're doing good and then I look up now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, this is our first really time good. we've done a sort of festival event with the food. Um, usually we just prep for like a hundred, where this time we're prepping for like three hundred. Three. Which 
Yeah, which is a first, so we don't really know if that's good amount to prep for or a bad amount to prep for. But we'll see. We'll find out. Anyone in the Innisfail area, come down on the weekend to grab, grab, grab yourself a hot dog. A designer dog. Designer dog, hot dog. Um, and come say, hey, we'll have some stickers, we'll have some Pokemon cards, we'll have some timber work. We're pretty much a one-stop shop. <laughs> like, we have come to the Feast of the Senses, come see us, go home. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Free entry, guys, so you don't even have to pay to see us. Um, <laughs> yeah. buy nice scroll work for Day. Yes, we've got some scroll work for Mother's Day. Um, we've got some scroll work for your dad for Father's Day. You get in early. And yeah. And hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dogs. Yeah. To eat while you're browsing. Yep. If I get through this little <laughs> onion cutting session, it's starting to get painful. It's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough. You don't need. You don't have to be in the room. <laughs> we love our mother. I swear. <laughs> but she puts herself through unneeded misery all the time for no reason. Like sitting in air the kitchen, air conditioning, and we're cutting up on us. And Dad's peacefully sitting in the computer room playing computer games. Not a tear in his eye. A tear in his eye. <laughs> Maybe if he feels a little bit lonely. Not even when you cut your finger. <laughs> no, he laughed. He, he could see from as soon as he turned the board. He only got up just to shut us up. See, he loves you more. Um, I only have one other topic left on my on my notepad, so I don't really want to bore you guys too much. So we'll probably do a couple more cuttings. Um, I might quickly wash my hands and see if there's any fan asked questions for this week, and then we might have to jump off because we do actually have a lot of work. It is <laughs> quite late, and we could probably just sit here for the next hour and cut these. And talk. and talk, or we could sit here for the next 20 minutes and smash through it. Um, so, this is actually like a dual one. It, it comes down to space, guys. I don't care. I'm sorry, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> I do care, because we're growing a family here, but... I really enjoy space. Um, something about watching missiles launch into space is just really, really cool, especially when they have people on them, which is what is actually happening on April 22nd at 10.11 UTC. Don't ask me what it is. Google it, that time, what time it converts. It's usually pretty night time if they're doing a day conversion for us, like a day launch. It comes pretty late at the night. Yeah, um, what was the last time we watched? We sat up at we like sat four o'clock in the morning, morning four or yeah. five in the morning, just to watch. Um, that was them first launch. True Dragon. The first people from America in over how many oh, years? That was a while. Yeah, that was awesome. But you watched the space uh, that thing. And then we watched it land. Yeah. yeah. Dock with the ISS that same old couple of nights ago. Um, but yeah, basically, we we really enjoy space. So this. Yeah, on the 22nd, which is very soon, in the next couple of days, um, we, Falcon yeah. 9 will be going to the ISS with four astronauts on board. Um, so if you actually want to tune into that, guys, it is at 10.11 UTC. I'll be watching it on YouTube. I can almost guarantee that. Um, so if you want to watch it, jump on the SpaceX YouTube channel, guys. Subscribe over there if you are interested in their kind of content as well. Um, but only do that if you haven't subscribed to us. Maybe let them know that Brian will leave to send you. Because <laughs> um, Elon. Because Elon. You're going to sponsor us one day. One day, bro. Anyway. I want a Tesla. <laughs> so bad. Have you actually, have you seen his little picture he put up lately? I've known him for a while, but he's got a Model S 
the Model 3, the Model X and the Model Y all in front of each other. Yes. And he's done it to spell out sexy. sexy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, of course, he's done something cryptic like that. He's so smart, So man. funny. He's just smarter than all of us and he makes it all a joke. Well, yeah. he's, not, he's not necessarily smarter than all of us. He just works harder than all of us. Yep. Um, but yeah, it makes other is... people want to work as hard as him that he's oh, got around him. Like, absolutely, bro. Yeah. This inspired me so much. Just from reading this book. Yeah. I haven't like, read it yet. Yeah, you've got to read this book. It's so good. Um, but yeah, guys, jump over on the SpaceX YouTube channel. You can watch it live streamed over there. Um, almost guarantee it. I will be live streaming it and watching it as well. But yeah. Sorry we're not very um, onto it with topics and everything <laughs> this week, guys. We have had a crazy week um, getting ready because we've got markets and then an event all day um so we booked out all weekend with this yeah film business which is exciting for us it's our first time um cutting onions really does suck anyone wants to earn five dollars next time we have an event you've got 10 kilos of onions let us know we'll give you five bucks to cut them all and we'll give you 20 bucks if you don't cry maybe a free hot dog and a hot dog <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we feel. Like oh, um, but yeah, that's all we've really got to talk about. I'm just gonna quickly before I do this, wash my hands. I'll be right back. Yeah, if there's any, um, if there's any questions, can ask questions. And then I need as I need her in that time today. Oh, dude. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Actually, his dad, sorry. Him and his dad. And Thomas. Uh, Thomas. No? No. Cameron. Cameron. Cameron, we finally remembered your name. Cameron. Sorry, bro. We love you. <laughs> it's just we always see your mum's name pop up because she has your channel. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good seeing everyone pop into EB now that I'm there. Actually, it's really good. Boys. I and believe out at the skate park, come in every day and have a look. Yeah, I believe, if I remember correctly, um, he was the one to say good luck at your games on the comments. Oh, awesome. Which, Cheers, was our, which was our only sort of, apart from our standard sort of replies, that was the only really thing we had on the last video, comments wise. There were no fan asked questions, which is very disappointing, guys. What's going on there? What is going on? <laughs> we need something what to What do you want to know? We need something to talk about. Didn't someone want to know what your menu was? Hot dogs. Yeah, so this weekend we're gonna sell just your boring dog. All right, so just your standard boring dog, guys. We do sell cash and card for all, everything as well, so don't stress about that. Um, you've got a boring dog, which is just your standard hot dogs. It's not boring at all. We do put this onion sauce, which we are making at the moment on it. I don't know if you guys saw that. I nearly lost a thumb. Actually? Yeah, look, my fingernail saved me. Cool. Right across the corner, it went dooker. I reckon if you had this knife, it wouldn't move. Nah. It's always on the last little bit of onion. Feels like you've got me under the nail, but we're safe. Um, so we've got the boring dog, and we've got a chili dog, which is uh, like a chili con con, so it's basically your beef with our famous and patented and secret chili, chili recipe. recipe. And then you've got the salsa dog, which again is our patent and fresh tomato salsa um, secret recipe that I made up. No. You might have actually. I think I did make it up. You came up with that one. I came up with that one. It's nice. It's, it's like a fresh. It's yeah, so it's good. So refreshing. So it's it. like a fresh tomato salsa Put it um, this with way. like a balsamic and vinaigrette dressing that goes on top of a hot dog guys yep. it is very refreshing on a hot day salsa dog all the way on a cold day chili dogs all the way wow. um, and for those boring people out there we have the boring dogs for you no. as well so yeah which all of them have this beautiful onion sauce yeah. beautiful onion oh. sauce which isn't like if you can if you like onions or if you can tolerate onions in a meal then it's not overpowering because it's like a tomato and onion sauce. It's like, it's, it's more of, yeah, like an onion relish than a sauce. Yeah. It's, yeah, tomato and onion relish, you could call it. Yeah. I like that, actually. Beautiful. 
Watch out. Cool. But it ages. So yeah, you don't get it's not onion, it doesn't just age like onion. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Meow. That's a lot of onion skins. That's a lot of onion sauce. So, um, we, we have friendly ghosts in our house, and I'm sure we've brought it up on one of our food challenges yes. before or <laughs> on a food cast. Um, we definitely have like past ghosts of our animals in this house as well, because our cat goes off at just nothing, so I'm sure she sees something. <laughs> and like, me and Dan, I oh, think we've already told the story. The, cat. the night we heard the cat, that was creepy. That was insane. Um, that was was creepy. We heard a full on meow outside our door and essentially we opened it up to let the cat let in. The cat in. And the cat wasn't there because the cat was curled up asleep in Daniel's cupboard. Asleep in the cupboard. Like the whole passed time. out to the light, like just dead to the world. But they're not they're those nice. people. They're friendly. Oh they're friendly. So yeah. Ghost animals. We might have what to you call a ghost them? animal. <laughs> There's the mole, there's the mole. Pokemon. You're just trying to get Pokemon. Man's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just addicted to Pokemon. Yeah. Got a ghost of mole. Hey. That should be Ghostbusters song. Gotta catch a mole. Ghostbusters. Ghost of mole. <laughs> Robots in disguise. Oh, that's on. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Alright. <laughs> So to that say, that joke was that good on crying. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty good. I had that one little cry session at the start. Yeah. And then, like, when we had our first break, um, blew my nose and refreshed myself, my face, and that a little bit. Washed my hands again, of course. Because um, human safety is key over here at Designer Dogs. And yeah. Um, you do get used to it after a while. Kind of you get used to it. Yeah, it's a bit purple. It's like half a red onion. So, um, guys, we're not going to bore you anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to cut up these last probably kilo and a half of onions. Yep. Um, and then we'll come back to you guys and say goodbye and show you our end result, basically. We've got a pile of rubbish down there and we've got <laughs> two beautiful piles of cut up onion. Um, so, guys, yeah, we will see you very soon. Oh, yeah. I keep thinking of the black screen. We haven't had the green screen for a while. We actually haven't. No. 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 We're working on a new set, <laughs> which is a surprise. What well, was a surprise? We're working on a new set, guys. And the reason we're back and you aren't seeing the outro and anything <laughs> like that is we realized we, we chopped like not many onions at all. Like maybe one or two. I, I think I just prepped these and yep. you prepped them. Prepped them. Yeah, and we looked at each other and we were like, it's a 10 kilo challenge. Yep. We're going to bore you guys. We came we up with an idea it. as well. We had to get through it, so we're going to make you guys come through it as well. We came up with an idea to have... I was fermented, that one. Was it? Oh, I smelled it. I had to smell it. Yeah, you had yeah. to. Sorry for interrupting. This is cast. Well, we, we, have, we still have to come up with the secret word that I mentioned right at the beginning of the video. Ah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So, we haven't actually dropped that word yet. So that's Wait. another reason why we're back. So yeah, we're just chilling. And we chilling. figured, oh, yeah, yeah. we I gotta mean, get through this, you guys do too. Onion rings. Oh, that's cool. Do you like raw onion? Not really. Not, Not really? really? But Your father does. Oh. That's where I get it from. Yuck. Oh, you eat raw Oh, I'd like it to salad. Any wonders why you're single. Probably. <laughs> I, I like raw red onion. That's awesome. And it's in our salsa. It is in our salsa. But a raw white onion, sweet onion is different. Good for ya. So by the way, said beans, beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. <laughs> the more you fart, the better you feel. So let's eat beans for every meal. That's still the nursery run going around in high schools and primary schools. I haven't heard that for so long, hey. Thanks a lot. I only remember the good for your heart part. Oh, I remember that one. Clear as day. <laughs> That's gold. Clear as day. 
Yeah, so I remember from school. What's that? Sliding down a waterfall, landing on a cactus. Yes. War cries that every single school has. <laughs> I'm sure they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. Red, white, and these boys are you. They're still around too. They still use the same ones, all different scores, they just change them. It's like soccer teams and football teams. They all use the same war cry. Because Brendan was here, I was on there at Christmas, and he was telling us his Rebels team. Uh, the team song for team me, song. Ring. When yeah, you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's the exact same one as the Innisfil Cutters use. Yeah. So I was just singing the Innisfil Cutters version. And drowning them out, trying to drown them out. But it was 2v1. So I lost. As you do. As you do. Whoa, nearly stabbed himself that time. Cereal. Cereal. Oh, I dropped one into the bin. I'll just take a layer off. She'll be right. It's just skins. I still gotta. I give them all the rinse. Oh, girls. I still gotta wash them all before I put them. So you have layers. We are good. So Dan's been on a hot streak with the Pokemon cards lately. Been getting some shiny fates going on, guys. And we've been collecting the set pretty well. Me too. Oh yeah, Mum's been on a roll. She's actually, actually yeah. She's been pulling all cards the good cards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Dan okay. got the Charizard V Max, and I got the Eternatus V Gold. And, and, got whatever you and say. then what do we? Mum got a lot of the shiny vaults. Rillaboom. Rillaboom. Rilla we got a Rillaboom V Max today. Beautiful card. And another Ditto V. I'm not mad about it. Those are cute little. Yeah, it's a piece. It's a little blob. This challenge is almost over. I was gonna say I'm on my last couple onions here, and I've still got five fingers, and I've only cried once. Still, a bit early into my YouTube career before I thought I'd be crying on camera. But we're growing that family, guys, and we're supporting each other. What? We get emotional. You just last cut, don't. I nearly did again. It slipped off. Last cut. See, so don't get too ahead of yourself. We're good. And we're done. We are done. Um, can I just put these in there, please? <laughs> oh, yeah, you definitely come more than I did. Yeah, because I'm used to it. Well, that's why he is the head chef. And I am the head assistant. Head assistant. Uh, head assistant. Uh, assistant. The head assistant. Get that right. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, it is the time. So you're my assistant now. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You reminded me of Riley again. Um, <laughs> Wait, you said that? What? You reminded me of Riley. The way you said that. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Hey girls, we hope you're watching. Hopefully you're watching all the way through, not skipping, because you would have missed the code word, which we're not repeating again. That's right. We said oh, oh. that's just going in there. It wasn't right. meant to be. That's it guys, we have ten kilos of onions. We conquered it. We done it. Um, Hopefully you just conquered it with us. <laughs> Hopefully you conquered it with us, guys. And if you did, you go in the running. If you comment the mystery word, comment the mystery word in the comment section down below. You go in the runnings to win a mystery prize, which we will tell you next vlog. Next, next, no, not next vlog. Next food card. Next food card. So next Friday, we'll tell you what the mystery prize is. We'll tell you. We'll probably give you a month, I reckon. Yeah before we actually draw the winner. That way you guys that are late to view the videos can always jump on and catch that code word. But it's only for the OGs. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to make it all the way to the end to find out really that there was a code word. I can't even remember what it was now when it was said, to be honest. I remember what it was. You might flip it in the corner there real quick. Um, but yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video there. So we are gonna go now and 
wash all these, cook them down, make our onion sauce, guys, and we will see you on Saturday at the Innisfail Markets. Yep. Um, until 12 p.m., guys, we're there bright and early from sort of 7.30, 8, so sort of we start cooking. Yeah, yeah, we start serving about 7.30, 8. 7 30, yeah. 8. Um, and then on Sunday, Sunday, Mum, remind me what the times are. Nine till nine till three. Nine till three. Free entry, guys, at the Innisfail Esplanade, the Riverfront, and the One Way Street. There, I'm actually excited. It's the yeah. first time they've had it there for a while. Yeah, and it's like, the first time they've had free entry for a while as well, and not yeah. have other like you have to pay to go in. Yeah, they're going to have rides and also, all uh, different uh, kinds of things throughout the day. So it should, should be a really lives. good. Yeah, it should be a really good family friendly day. Um, so guys, come grab a hot dog, bring your family down, bring your friends down, come say hi. Like we've already said, we're going to get to business and we can't wait to see these guys there. So just like that, always remember to love the life you have while creating the life of your dreams, guys. And we'll see you in a few days. Oh.